Hi everybody, I'm Lisa and this is Crafting with Mimi. And I cannot tell you how happy I am to be back healthy and crafting with you again. I have so many ideas because literally for the last 30 days, I have been either sitting around waiting to get better and when it didn't, I had emergency surgery and now I am just recovering. So I've had a lot of time to look around my craft room and get some great ideas from Pinterest and other places that I like to look in magazines and what, what have you. Anyway, today I'm gonna do some super easy ones that are spring related and so cute. Easy, easy, easy. Very minimal equipment that you need. Scissors, ribbon, whatnot. Okay, the first one is with this. Now this did have this little pig on it. It was stapled to this frame. I got this at Dollar General for five bucks. This was last year's um, inventory. So I already took the pig off. Now it had all these staples on. So actually I made my husband do it because I don't have the patience for that kind of thing. And the frame is just super rustic already. And it did have another little something here, like a little arrow that said farm fresh or something, but I took that off too. And so we're just left with this adorable frame that I love so much. Very super rustic and farmhouse. And then I was looking through my calendars, which I have an abundance of. I did get this from Dollar Tree. It's the Blossoms. And I wanted to do something super springy and I love sunflowers so I found the page that has that somewhere where is it it's in here I promise maybe I already pulled it out where are you sunflower well I did have it <laughs> here it is <laughs> I tucked it away so I took the sunflower which I absolutely love and listen, all I'm gonna do here is find the best spot for it so you can see a lot of it. And I mean, since it's not centered on the page, that's how I'm gonna do it on the frame because I love that. And I'm just gonna find it, turn it over and staple it to the back with my staple gun. I'm gonna do that so I can preserve the frame as well as the picture. You guys know how much I love to save things and use it again. So that's why I'm doing this. So I'm just gonna take my staple gun. As you know, I love my little arrow staple gun because it's so small and it fits my little hand. So I'm just gonna go around it. Make sure I have it facing the right way. <laughs> The first time I used this staple gun, I had it going <laughs> the wrong way because it looks like it goes that way. I don't know. It doesn't, it goes this way. So just look for the arrow <laughs> that tells you what to do. I'm just gonna put a couple staples because there's really no need to go overboard with this. And then I'm just gonna trim it up. Nothing fancy. Just go along the edge and trim it up. And then just to give it a little more reinforcement, I have this little piece of cardboard that I got from the back of the calendar. And I'm just gonna put a couple of tacks there just to give it a little extra support so it's not just flopping around. Again, look for the arrow. One more, that should do it. Well, two more. And then trim it up. And 
it just gives it some more support. I like it. Of course, you can use whatever flower or whatever picture you want here. I just thought this was so springy, and Lord knows I'm ready for spring. Actually, it's spring outside today. Last week, it was like in the minus digits. This week, it's in the 70s, so that's Texas weather for you. I'm sorry, but it's so shaky. Okay, so I have this adorable sign. I'm just gonna dress it up with a little ribbon. So for the bow, I just used um, this yellow buffalo check uh, ribbon that I got from Michaels and some Dollar Tree ribbon. And I just made a simple shoestring bow out of it. And I'm gonna connect it to, or attach it to the frame using my staple gun. That way I can just pull it off when I wanna change this up. You can use this frame over and over and over again for different things. So I'm just gonna get down to the very bottom layer and attach it right to the board. See, I almost used the stay. <laughs> I almost used the wrong end again. And I'm going to do the same on both sides. I love using this technique. I did the same thing with my Valentine. If you remember, my Valentine um, octagon or hexagon box shadow box. All I used was staples on that. So how cute is this? I absolutely love it. Now, you can go a little step further by putting like a saying, like a little plaque or something here. I don't wanna do that, I'm just gonna keep it simple. But I did find these cute little bumblebees in my stash. I got these at um, Hobby Lobby last year. And I'm just gonna use my little, they have a wire, very long wire. I'm just gonna cut it and just kind of loop it around the um, wire here to attach it. That way there's no glue or anything involved. Makes it easier to reuse. know what you think about this in the comments. Be sure to share this with your friends and your crafting community. If you decide to make this um, for yourself, and I hope you do, or I hope you gave, it gives you some ideas of how to make your own, let me see a picture of it in the comments, or you can tag me from your own page. Now, how cute is this? I love it. Let me try to get closer so you can see. And there's the little bees, aren't they cute? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and I will be back in a very short time to show you another idea that I have. It'll be so easy too. Bye for now, have an awesome day.